Hello and welcome to Star Trek Alpha. If you didn't like Runaway, then have no fear. Calypso is here to save the day. Is it better? Yes. How much better? Only about a million times. Calypso takes place on the Discovery, a thousand years from now. It is a stylistic and poetic, and the soundtrack and movie score is second to none. Scripted by the Pulitzer Prize winning author Michael Chabon, Calypso elevates the short track series to something that Star Trek fans may actually want to watch. Aldous Hodge stars as Kraft, the soldier from the planet Alcor, who has been adrift and lost in space and is saved by the USS Discovery. Okay, you already have my attention. The artificial intelligence on the Discovery calls itself Zora and is voiced by Annabelle Wallace. Zora nurses Kraft back to health and a unique love affair between a biological being and a silicon intelligence soon begins. After being away and at war for 10 years, Kraft wants desperately to get back to his wife and child. However, Zora makes it clear that her orders are to stay in one place. Kraft explains to Zora that the people who gave her the orders have been dead for nearly a thousand years, but Zora sticks to her orders. When the episode first begins, you think to yourself that Zora will likely become a malicious, artificially intelligent being who wants to keep Kraft all for herself because of her 1,000 years of loneliness. But the tune quickly changes as you see Kraft and Zora having an amicable relationship in order to help each other pass the time. Zora teaches Kraft about waffles and syrup and Taco Tuesday. Kraft innocently asks her, what is a Tuesday? And she giggles. They end up falling for each other, and Kraft assists her in reenacting a dance from Audrey Hepburn and Frank Astaire in the musical Funny Face. Zora manifests a holographic body in order to reenact that dance, and Kraft comes very close to truly falling in love with an artificially intelligent system. But he is unable to leave behind the memory of his family. Instead of Zora becoming mad or malicious and holding Kraft against his will, she decides to prep the shuttlecraft in an effort to give Kraft the chance to get home to his family. All in all, Calypso is a wonderful offering from the new Star Trek universe. There are no fighting factions, there are no weapons, no one dies, and yet it's one of the best from the new series. I think it goes to show as proof that Star Trek does not need to be violent or follow certain formulaic outlines in order to be a good show. The idea of Star Trek is alive and well in this Short Trek offering by CBS All Access. If you enjoyed Calypso, let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching Star Trek Alpha.